Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Statement of Objectives, or what I call a SU. What is a Statement of Objectives? The Statement of Objectives is a program document that identifies the broad, basic, top-level objectives of and procurement and is used as a focusing tool for both the government and offerers. In a competitive source selection environment and SU is an integral part of the request for proposal development process. A SU supplements a requirements document, ICD, CDD, performance-based government requirements document, and is developed after performing a risk assessment that highlights the high and moderate risks in the areas of business, programmatic, and technical identified on the program against the requirement document. How is the statement of objectives developed? A SU is developed to be compatible with, initial capabilities document, programmatic direction from the acquisition decision memorandum. Acquisition Strategy, Technical Requirements from System Specifications, and the Draft Work Breakdown Structure and Dictionary. The SU is then used, by offerers, to develop the Contractor Statement of Work, the Contract Work Breakdown Structure, the Integrated Master Schedule, and other documents supporting and defining the Contractor Proposed Effort. SU content should be tailored to the type and phase of the program. The key is to keep the SU clear, concise, and provide potential offerers with enough information and detail to structure a sound program, designed to be executable and satisfy government objectives. The SU is a part of the request for proposal or solicitation and has value to both the industry and the government. What are the Statement of Objectives Development Steps? The following are the five steps that are an integral part of developing the SU. Step 1. Conduct market research to determine whether commercial items or non-developmental items are available to meet program requirements. Step 2. Review the requirements documents that authorize the program, various DOD, services, joint services requirements documents for program management and acquisition management impacts to the program. Step 3. Prepare a bibliography citing the specific portions of all applicable governing instructions, directives, specifications, and standards with which the program must comply. Step 4. Develop the program objectives by completing a risk assessment that highlights the high and moderate risks in the areas of business, programmatic, and technical identified on the program based on the requirements document. And finally, Step 5. Draft the Statement of Objectives for Review. Here is a notional format for a Statement of Objectives. Section 1. Overall Program Objectives. List the overall main program objectives. Section 2. Contract objectives. For multi-phase programs, describe objectives for each phase in a format similar to an indentured list. Clearly indicate which phases are part of the anticipated contract and any phases that will involve separate contracts. Section 3. Program management objectives. The management objectives are to allow the offeror the maximum flexibility to innovatively manage the projected schedule, performance, risks, warranties, subcontracts and data to provide the goods or services that satisfy the government's performance requirements. This is tailored to meet the specific program needs. Section 4, Engineering Objectives. List the engineering objectives to include software and systems engineering. And finally, Section 5, Logistics Objectives. List overall supply chain objectives. What is the difference between a statement of objectives versus a statement of work? The biggest difference between a statement of objectives and a statement of work is that a SU is not a contractually binding document where a SAO is. The SU is is provided in the solicitation in lieu of a government written statement of work. In this approach, the contractor's proposals contain their statements of work and performance metrics and measures, which are based on their proposed solutions. The SU is also focused on risk where the statement of work is not. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the statement of objectives. For more information visit the webpage which includes a guide and best practice tips. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.